Welcome back to my channel. Um, today I thought I would do an April favorites video. I haven't done a favorite favorites video in a long time. I feel like it's been extra long since I've done one, but I figured now would be a great time to go ahead and do another one. I don't have that much, honestly, um, but what I do have, I'm gonna show you. And I figured we can start with just makeup slash beauty things, because that's usually what people talk about when they do stuff like this. So I'm gonna start with this highlighter right here. It's a ColourPop Super Shock Cheek Highlighter in Glazed. I like it a lot. I'm wearing it right now. I don't know if you can tell. Are we can? I don't know. I don't know. Can you see that swatch? Like, it's super pretty, super pigmented. I love it. The next thing is this Rose Quartz Lotion from Bath & Body Works. Uh, it says on it that it's inspired by love and passion. The fragrant notes are rose water, lily petals, and fresh patchouli. It smells so good. It's really interesting because I was getting out of, um, because they have a lot of like fruity, fun scents, Bath & Body Works, and I was getting really uninterested in that. But then they came out with this, and I use it like every night. It's so nice. It smells so good. I, there, I also have um, their Moonstone one, which is actually in my bathroom still, which I, I use kind of um, when I get a little bored of this, I'll use that one. Both are really nice. My favorite stone is a Moonstone, so that one should probably be in this video instead, but this is the one I've been using most often, and it's the one I have on my sink. Next is also from Bath & Body Works, and it is this um, Amber and Argan Fragrance Mist. It smells just really nice. I've been using it every day since I got it. The next beauty item is this ColourPop palette, which you have seen, you will see, or yeah, you will see, um, in an upcoming video again. It's the I Think I Love You palette by ColourPop. And it's got all these nice colors. I've been using this a lot for my makeup, my everyday makeup as I, in these past few months especially. It's just got nice colors that are really soft and really pretty and really pigmented, which is really awesome. I say, I've been saying really a lot and I need to stop. Anyway, it's a nice palette and I like it. Recommend it if you're interested. I uh, did a little shopping on Born Pretty, which is a beauty website. It's a beauty store, I think, is kind of what it's known for, but I think it's most known for nail polish and nail art things. I think they're based in Singapore, so it takes like a month or so to get stuff in. I got this little stamping plate from them. There's kind of some nail polish on it, but oh, you can you can see you. That's exciting. I film on my phone. Great. <laughs> uh, but it's this little stamping plate. You can see actually on my, my ring finger, I have um, this one on there. It kind of, I messed, I wasn't like, I wasn't as focused as I could have been, so I kind of messed it up, but I recently posted a picture on Instagram of, like, a bunch of them on my nails, but I will put, like, right here. Yeah, I'll do that. Um, and it's just got some nice stamping options. I really have been getting into stamping lately. It's really fun, really easy, and I might get more. Next items are not beauty-related. Movie-wise, I've been watching... Well, movie-wise, I kind of, I, I like movies. I like stuff like that, and I like TV shows. TV-wise, I haven't really been watching any TV shows recently. I started The Santa Clarita Diet yesterday because my friend told me I should watch it, and so I am. But movie-wise, I have actually been re-watching uh, the Maze Runner m movies trilogy. Trilogy. I have this one, the first one, the second one, and now the third one. <laughs> the third one just came out on DVD. Um, which is why I've been kind of back in this zone, uh, since, since January, I've been kind of back into it. I've been, um, obsessing, lightly obsessing, lightly. Next is a book. It's the only book I read in April, because April, I don't know why I didn't read anything in April. I just kind of got into a little slump. I'm trying to fix it now, but, um, no, I, I read one book. One book in April and I'm disappointed in myself for that uh, but the only book I read was the rest of us just live here by Patrick Ness I actually started this book about a year ago I bought it while I was in London 
but I, I just didn't finish it because I didn't have the time. I was so busy over there that I just didn't ever finish it. So I re, I think I tried to restart it when I got home and then I just didn't read it. <laughs> it may be in my, what I read in my uh, 2017 wrap up, but I lied because I didn't finish it. <laughs> but I reread it. I reread it last month and I like it. It's really good. It's a really good book. Um, really interesting. These are the, these are the, about the people who are not the chosen one or like the main character of the series. It's, it's about the people who, who have to live in that town where you have all these kids fighting monsters, zombies, whatever. This is about the kids who don't fight them, who have their own internal battles to fight. And it's really fascinating and really cool. I liked the concept a lot. I remember hearing about it on booktube and dying to read it and then I just I didn't <laughs> until recently so that is that is my book favorite of the month not that it had too much competition and finally I'm actually gonna take this off the shelf my next favorite is this little goblet of fire candle uh, that I got in my fairy loot box if you haven't seen that video I'll link it down below go watch it actually I'll put it on the end screen as well go watch it it's good <laughs> I love this is scented fresh bread and chocolate. This candle is from Paper Flames Candle Company. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, leave a like button and maybe I'll actually do one in May uh, and, and keep this going. I could do that. I could, I could do that. I can. I should. It's not that hard. Comment down below some of your favorites from this month and if any of them correspond with mine, let me know. Let me know what you like about the things. I don't know. <laughs> Uh, subscribe if you're interested to see what I post next because there will be a new video in the next couple weeks. Um, I know that because I just filmed it, so I shouldn't tell you that. <laughs> so, yeah. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys again soon. Bye!